Slide it right in the very back. Hey, what's up, you guys? Shardimus Prime here, doing another Marvel Legends action figure review on the Netflix Waves Man Thing Build a Figure. If you're trying to pick up this set, you can do so right now. I'm right. Big, big, big. Get your big badass toys at bigbadtoystore.com. Click the link in the description below. So here's all six pieces to build the Man Thing. The left leg over here came with Electra. The right leg came with Bullseye. The right arm came with Blade. The left arm came with the Punisher, the head came with Daredevil, and the torso right over there came with Yeska Younes. Anyway, let's get this thing built. Will you take us away, Bumblebee? All right, so we're gonna go ahead and take the torso. Uh, no, I just ruined my art piece. Uh, it was so beautiful, wasn't it? Uh, so you can see we attached the left leg right over there. All right, that's the right leg on the left side. Oops, damn it, I got myself all backwards. So there we go, left leg on the left side. That's the right leg on the right side, you stupid idiot! And then we have right arm going on the right side, and then left arm going on the left side, and left leg on the left side, and then I'll form the head and go we'll have the man thing figure all completely built. Now, this is one figure that I really didn't look forward to. Uh, I'm going to be honest, man. I, I, you know, I'm not a huge fan of Man-Thing. I mean, I think Man-Thing's cool and all, but I don't know. Uh, the old Man-Thing from Toy Biz is a good figure, and that was a figure that wasn't very desirable back then, and I don't know who uh, was really looking forward to getting a brand new Man-Thing figure. I thought that figure was alright and it didn't really go up in price like crazy on eBay or anything and I don't know if there's a huge demographic of Marvel Legends collectors out there that really wanted a new man thing so right out the gate I'm not too excited for this figure and if we're going to get a new build a figure man thing I was kinda of thinking like maybe a giant size man thing right but this is not giant size at all so anyway let's get a closer look at this guy now you're just looking at the head sculpt of man thing and if you think there's similarities between this character and a certain DC Comics character? Well, yeah, that's no real big surprise. Uh, the backstories to both characters were actually written by Len Wein, also who was the creator of Wolverine. But anyway, looking at this guy's history briefly, biochemist Dr. Ted Salas was working with a team of scientists to develop the Captain America Super Soldier Serum, and while being chased by AIM soldiers, or by AIM agents, uh, he was running away with the serum, and he had all the notes and everything for the serum, and before crashing his car into a swamp he had injected himself with the serum and had destroyed the notes and then that's how he became Man-Thing. And then Man-Thing has a ton of abilities, uh, he can grow in different sizes and he has empathic powers, uh, he can also secrete like this acidic uh, fluid from his face and he can also ha and he also has healing properties that go along with him too. Now as far as the character design goes, I've never really been a huge fan of Man-Thing. Uh, he's got these three <laughs> hanging from his face and I just think that's kind of weird you know what I mean like well, well you got a bunch of yeah, you got a bunch of sloppy things hanging from your face over there, man. Can you see that? Anyway, I like the beady red eyes, and the figure itself does look really good. Now, I gotta say, as far as, uh, you know, the execution of this guy, it doesn't look bad at all. Um, but I, I could already tell you, I mean, just briefly comparing it to the Toy Biz version right here, I, I mean, I'm seeing more details in this guy. Now, this is the larger figure, of course, but... There are more involved details with, with this piece right over here, and uh, yeah, not as many with this guy. But again, I still think Hasbro did a good job with this. It's not a bad job, it's just, I, I don't know, I, I just don't think it's as good as the older version. And one thing that kind of frustrates me with the figure is that I noticed the sculpting on the sides of the figure right over here and right on here seem to get uh, a little bit less pronounced, but in the center it looks pretty solid, it just kind of... Like, I don't know, it's like the mold or something just didn't cut all the way through. I, I don't know how to explain that. But the paint details look really nice on this guy. He has this wash going all the way through, and then we get these tan colors right here. The nails on his hands look really nice as well. He does have a lot of paint on the joints, so I recommend using a hairdryer to heat up these wrists so that you can move those hinges up and down. Originally, there was more paint over here, so yeah, be wary of that. 
And then here's the other side, same deal. I think it was the left side I had a tougher time with, and these hands will pop off fairly easy. Now people have talked about them using this body mold for other characters in the future, and I don't know who they could use these for, because I see little leaves, you know? I think someone I was talking to was speculating they could use this for a Sasquatch or something in the future, but I mean, really, you have these man thing specific details in the sculpt, so I don't know. And then I'm guessing they may have used the, the Gladiator Hulk torso up here and just wrapped this piece around it because I can feel as you can see I mean I'm lifting this up a little bit and you can see there's hard plastic underneath the softer plastic right here but this is a hard plastic on the lower torso so if they had taken anything from another figure it would just be this top piece right over here just looking at the skirt over here covering his man thing and he's got a little shroomage going on on the sides a little bit of shrooms I don't know wish these were colored a little bit different but yeah I like the details that we're seeing here you know, little stumps and vines and all that going in and out. Nice color wash over it. I love seeing the tan. So th seeing three different tones makes me really happy. Uh, I prefer that with paint detail. We got some beautiful looking man think toes. And the toenails are all beautifully painted. Very well done, Hasbro. I like that. Thank you. Thank you. Looks pretty good. So yeah, it's not a bad looking piece, man. And then here, just looking on the back, he has big holes under his feet. And here's the man thing butt, man thing back. Yeah, so not too shabby looking. As far as articulation goes, it's not so bad. Uh, the head joint doesn't really move as much as I'd like it to, though. You can get him looking up that much, but he's a very hunchy character, so I wish he could look up more than that, you know? I'd like him to look up a little bit more. But anyway, you can move his head, well, it doesn't really move down. He just kind of looks forward all the time. Uh, you can swivel like that and you can get the head kind of pivoting outward just a little bit like that too. So you do get some side to side movement, but not a whole ton of head movement over there. Uh, we get shoulder joints that move all the way outward, which isn't too bad, and they move down pretty far. You can see a little bit of rub from that, so be wary. He rotates 360 over here. You do get the bicep swivel, you get a single jointed elbow, and then both wrists swivel side to side and hinge up and down. Again, stiff joints over here, but yeah, it will move. Uh, he does have a good ab crunch that moves forward that much, and it moves back that much, and he does have a waist swivel right here. Hip joints move out very far, and he can kick forward that much and back some. He has an upper thigh swivel, double jointed knees, come on, get those double jointed, there we go. And then he has ankles that move down quite a bit, move up only a little bit, and he does have ankle pivot. Now measuring out this man thing figure, you could see that he is standing at eight and a half inches tall. Now for your man thing comparison, here we have our new Build-A-Figure Man-Thing compared to the Toy Biz Man-Thing. And this guy isn't so bad. I, I like this old Toy Biz Man-Thing figure. Not that I was ever truly very excited for it. I don't think anybody ever actually was. I've actually even had a hard time finding the right place for this guy in my collection. I mean, I had this Monsters set up, so that's where he's been. But before that, I was kind of like, ah, oh, where am I going to put this guy? Now, you can't have the character fighting against Hulk and Thing and some other characters or team up with Spider-Man, as you saw on images earlier, but really, I don't think anybody's Marvel Legends collection is begging for a Man-Thing figure, nevertheless two Man-Thing figures. And that kind of makes me think that Hasbro's kind of sending a message with this, right? Like, trying to just wipe out all previous Marvel Legends that aren't Hasbro. You only need Hasbro. And then here's the Man-Thing Build-A-Figure next to the STCC exclusive Swamp Thing. And wow, you can see the mushrooms and flowers are all detailed out on this guy over here. This thing is still very slimy, such a weird figure. But but anyway, yeah, you can see that the Swamp Thing is much taller than the Man-Thing. Well, that's a lot of things. And then here's a the Man-Thing Build-A-Figure next to the Marvel Legends comic version Groot. And I wonder if these two have ever teamed up, huh? It would make sense. I'm sure they have at some point. Then here's Man-Thing next to the comic Hulk that came in the Target exclusive pack. And then we have the Series 2 Toy Biz Thing. And then to compare Man-Thing to a couple other Build-A-Figures, we have the Gladiator Hulk from the Thor Ragnarok wave. And then we have the Juggernaut Build-A-Figure from the X-Men wave. I guess the opposing possibility over here is getting Man-Thing with a Thunderbolts, so you can get a Thunderbolt setup if you want. And somebody had wanted to see the uh, Gladiator Hulk next to Juggernaut over there, uh, you know, okay, so there's your size comparison. And then here's the Man-Thing Build-A-Figure next to all the other figures from this wave. And this is not a bad wave. I actually like this wave, aside from what I think is a disappointing Build-A-Figure. Uh, Hasbro's mentioned, you know, doing other Netflix waves in the future, so hopefully we get a Kingpin or something else, but yeah, okay, so let's go through the list of figures that I like least uh, 
from all the way up to the top. Okay, so at the very bottom is Man Thing. Yeah, I'm gonna tell you, man, as soon as they announced that figure coming out, I was already bummed out. I'm not selling mine, I'm gonna hold on to it, you know, for comparisons and things like that in future reviews. But uh, next is going to Electra. Um, that it's not my favorite look for Electra. We're gonna see her with more red in the Defenders. So yeah, that's not my favorite look for her. So she's second from the bottom. And then above from her, which is really hard for me to do, is I'm putting Blade. Just Blade's going next. Uh, I've already talked about the things and the problems that I had with that figure, especially not showing the teeth. I'm very happy to finally have a comic Blade, but yeah, it, it did disappoint me. And then above Blade would be the Punisher figure. I'm very stoked to have our Netflix Punisher over here in action figure form, so I'm stoked about that. And then above Punisher would be Jessica Jones. I'm very stoked about that Jessica Jones figure. As simple and as small as it is, I am very stoked to have her. Plus, you can use her as your comic book version of Jessica Jones, so it's actually the only figure from this wave that I think is worth purchasing two copies of. And then above Jessica Jones, I'm giving it to Bullseye. Yeah, that doesn't sound right, above Jessica Jones. Anyway, yeah, the Bullseye figure, even though I already have a Bullseye figure, uh, this gave me a newer Bullseye figure that I like more than the old one, and it really helped with my Dark Hawkeye. So it gave me an upgrade to two characters I already had in my collection, so that made me very happy. Plus, it's just a good figure. And I do like the effects pieces that we get with it and the weapons and everything, so I am very pleased with that Bullseye. And that number one, of course, goes to Daredevil. I really wanted a Marvel Legends Daredevil figure very, very badly, so I'm very excited about having this figure. It's been actually the most fun for me to pose around out of all of them from this set. I do have complaints about it, but still, it is my favorite figure from this wave. And then here's the man thing next to the Marvel Legends big time no letdown Spider-Man. So yeah, once again, I mean, this is not a bad figure by any means. I don't mean to, you know, leave the impression that I think this is a poorly made figure. I think it does look good. I like the paint apps. I like the sculpted detail. There's parts of the sculpted detail that I think could have been done better, but I think the overall execution for this man thing is actually pretty good. I just don't necessarily need one. I'm not a huge fan of the character, and I don't think the character has an enormous fan base, so I kind of feel like Hasbro went a long way to reach out to make a character that's not in high demand. I, I feel like there could have been a lot of other characters that they could have made for a Build-A-Figure over Man-Thing, and if they're going to do another Man-Thing, again, I think they could have made us a giant-sized Man-Thing. That would have been really neat because we don't have that yet so anyway i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did please hit the like button leave a comment down below let me know what you think of the figure let me know what you think of the review if you want to hit that subscribe button for more shardimus prime videos coming your way please go ahead and do so and if you've already hit the subscribe button make sure you hit that notification bell to ensure that my videos are showing up in your feed i gotta give a big thanks to all these people over here for supporting this youtube channel your guys's help is very much appreciated and if you want to see a photo gallery of images It'll be over at MarvelousNews.com Then you can stay in touch with me over on the Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram Links in the description below I'll catch you guys later Bye. Shot, we're shot, we're shot in your face. I said, we're shot, we're shot, we're shot in your face.